Hey everybody, Dave Archie, the Atlanta Falcon Radio Network, and we continue to look at some of the positions that could affect the Falcons early on in the draft. We're going to start with the offensive line now. Offensive linemen, there are a number of good offensive linemen at the top of this draft, but when you start, it's at the offensive tackle position. Let's start with Evan Neal, the big kid out of Alabama. And I say big, 6'7", 337. This is a guy that can play all over the field. Watch the tape of this kid. He looks like a tight end playing tackle. There's no fat on this dude. He's completely rock solid at, one, at 337 pounds, but he can play all over the field. In fact, he even said, hey, you can play me anywhere. Just don't play me at center. He didn't want to play center. He can play both tackles, both guards. He is a he's a, that kind of athlete, but he is a power run blocker that has really, really good feet and he does an excellent job with pass blocking, so that feet carries over in the run game and in the passing game, his ability to move his feet as a big man. Now, what is his maybe drawback? He lunges from time to time, and when you got 337 pounds on your 6'7", you get that body weight going for it, sometimes it can get you in trouble. But from a technique standpoint, Evan Neal is everything you want in a tackle uh, at this level, probably a left tackle, which we know is one of those featured positions. All right, let's go to the second guy, and these two guys are right neck and neck. Ekim Ekwanu. Uh, Ekwanu is a guy out of NC State that uh, is a devastating run blocker. If you're looking for a guy that can come off the ball and crush you on the inside or outside, it's Ekwanu. It's six foot four, 310 pounds. This is a guy that allowed just three sacks and 476 pass attempts. So you can see that he can pass protect as well. But I think that what jumps off the tape at you when you watch him is just his mass moving downfield at a rapid pace and being able to deliver a blow. He ran 4.9 in the 40 at 3.10. He ran a 4.73 short shuttle. That's high end for an offensive lineman. So this guy has a, 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 an amazing ability to shift gears and change speeds for his size. Here's the thing I love about the guy. He has got a nasty streak. This is a guy that likes to finish to the back edge of the whistle. When he puts his hat on you, he wants to drive you into another country. I love that about uh, Ekwanu. Um, now, he struggled against some, some guys that have a little bit longer arms or taller rushers. But again, we're splitting hairs here a little bit. I think this guy is a high-end dude that's going to go in the top 10 picks of the NFL draft. All right, Charles Cross, uh, offensive tackle 6'7", 307 out of Mississippi State. This guy might be the most accomplished pass protector in the, in the group. This is a guy that had to protect over a thousand times. Remember, you got that Mike Leach passing offense at Mississippi State. They threw the ball over the yard. Cross did an outstanding job. He allowed just one sack, I'm sorry, just two sacks all year long. 719 attempts with him dropping and protecting. But as I said, outstanding pass protector. Uh, only 16 pressures in those 17 and 799 attempts. He's got extra, excellent upper body strength. Does an excellent job there, but again, this is a bigger dude that sometimes you get that body extended. When you lean forward, there's going to be some, some balance issues. You've got to clean that up. And he has a susceptible, he's susceptible a little bit to a bull rush. Got to be able to drop his weight and sustain against the bull rush. That can cause him some problems. How about Tyler Lindebaum, the outstanding center out of Iowa? This guy has been touted as maybe the best center uh, that's come out in the last 10 years out of, out of college football. 6'3", 289 out of Iowa. When I say 289, your ears, my ears might perk up. Yeah, a little bit undersized at 289, but he makes up for it with tremendous upper body strength, and he's a really good athlete, a guy that keeps his low center of gravity uh, and moves his feet extremely well. He is extremely strong. I'm talking about crazy strong. This is a guy that could bench uh, the 225 over 30 times. This is a guy that could come off the ball and lock on, and you're not getting away. So Tyler Lindebaum, the center out of Iowa uh, in this group. And then my last guy here is Trevor Penning. Penning is a uh, tackle out of Northern Iowa, 6'7", 335 pounds. This is another dude, guy that's got top in, uh, top heavy, big dude. If he gets off balance, sometimes he'll tip. But this is a guy that plays with a tremendous power when he comes off the ball. Uh, his leverage to get under blockers, even though he's 6'7", is a thing to watch. And this guy ran sub 4'9", 40. So you got this guy at 6'7", 325. His short area quickness is outstanding. He finishes blocks, and I mean he's physical, a lot like a Kwanu. He likes to finish you and drive you into the turf. Now the wonder is his level of competition. Okay, he's playing FCS football at uh, at Northern Iowa. So did he see the elite level pass rushers? He dominated his level. Where is he going to be when the level steps up a little bit? There are some good players in the top 50 of this draft that could help your offensive line.